Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Early Career Academic. On this channel, I explore how I use the Passion Planner to set personal and professional goals. In this video, I'm going to be planning out the week of September 1st. Nope. The 2nd. <laughs> Labor Day. Um, through the 9th. Yes, I believe that is the case. Um, before I get started, I am a passion, passion planner ambassador. That means there is a affiliate link and discount code in the description of this video. I would really appreciate it if you use that link in that code to help support my planner habit and the work on this channel. Coming up, Passion Planner has its launch for new planners, and I will do my very best to alert you on both platforms, YouTube and Instagram, when I have info to share on that. I'm really excited about it. I can't wait to share the new stuff with you all. Um, but yeah, great time to snap up a new planner. Uh, certainly there's a lot of sales of the older planners if you're into um, getting, you know, a, a passion planner on a budget. And of course, there's going to be new stuff to comb through as well. Um, all right. So this is a passion planner medium. This is the stiff marble cover and it is undated with the months in the front and the weeks in the back. And of course, the back pages. Um, by the time this video goes up, actually right just after this video goes up, I'm going to have another video on using some of my back pages. Um, some of you actually might have caught a glimpse of it on my YouTube channel. I apologize. That was not supposed to happen. It is supposed to be scheduled for next week, not this week. <laughs> so this is the current week, and I just love how this spread turned out. I mean, look how cute it is with the little caboodles and the Lisa Frank binder. I just think it turned out real great, so I'm happy with it. Today is Thursday, so I haven't obviously done everything I wanted to do today. The whole morning was sucked up by meetings, so that is what happened there. And my parents are coming for dinner, so I have to get ready for that. Um, but everything else this week was pretty nice. My son had a great checkup. He's growing like a weed. He's awesome. I even did some self-care stuff. I did a workout. I started reading a new book. I have not taken care of my foot issue. Actually, I kind of took, I did a little bit about this. Not entirely though. And I have been taking vitamins and hydrating pretty well. So I'm actually very happy with my self-care game changer goal. For those of you who are new, game changer goal, check out my passion planner roadmap update video that I will link in the description. If you want to see what I'm talking about, that's what I'm referring to. Um, some of this personal stuff is going to get shifted off because this week just got like consumed with work, but I did get some personal things squared away, some planning stuff I really needed to plan. So like basically I kind of borrowed tasks that I thought I would do later in the month of September. Um, so I'm not feeling too bad about the fact that I have to shift some of this forward, but I'm filming this video right now. I want to do that. That's a real quick task, but I want to do this video before all that. So let's do next week. Next week is fascinating. Um, I already scheduled this email, so I don't need that um, because there's just a lot of strange things happening this week. Strange, not like strange, but unusual, like not your typical week. <laughs> so I will show you on um, my month. This is my September. Um, if you haven't seen my September plan with me, it is up on the channel. Um, so the week we're talking about here is this first full week of September. Um, first it's Labor Day on the second. So I don't have daycare this day, which is fine. It's a holiday. My husband and I have it both off. So this is the Labor Day holiday. I might have a sticker to signal that there's a holiday, but I'm actually going to pull out a sticker book. This is the passion planner teacher sticker book. And I have this sheet that I used only a few stickers from that I want to use more. And I want to pull some from here as well. And then I also have this tools for school sticker book. So if I can't find what I'm looking for in the teacher one, I might be able to find it in the student one. But that first day is Labor Day and I do have friends coming over for a barbecue. And then the other weird thing that's happening on Tuesday is my daughter's having an outpatient surgery. So that day, I just think will be kind of like sucked up in that. I don't know what time her surgery will be yet. So I'm going to mark that down here as well. And then Wednesday, I have um, a team meeting and actually another meeting just got added to this day. 
Um, thankfully, Thursday is open, and Friday I have a mentoring meeting with my TAs. Then it's my husband and I's 10-year anniversary of the day that we met each other. So really excited about that. Don't know if we're doing anything because my parents will be out of the country. Um, I don't know. And then the following day is my, my grandma's birthday, but also my in-law's 50th wedding anniversary party. So it is a busy, <laughs> it's a busy week. I know I just threw a lot at you, but that's why we're doing this plan with me because I need to get my ducks in a row. So we're going to start where we always start. And that is by putting some washi down in my little washi cutter tool thing. And let's pull out some, there's a lot of pink in the stickers that I'm looking at. So I'm going to bring this pink for show. Sure. And then there's also a lot of blue. So maybe I'll get the blue washies. Look at me acting like I have all the time in the world for this plan with me. And I don't, but that's okay. That's okay. Let's see what blue I should do. Ooh, I know exactly what blue I should do. This blue. It's luckily, the blue I have the most of. I love those little um, strings to hold my washi, but they get fibers everywhere. Okay. So let me catch y'all up on the current week. So as I said, my son had his six month checkup and that went really well. He's just a cool little dude. He's, he's kind of a quiet baby. And I finally sat down with myself today when I was pumping and I was like, how much milk does my son eat in a day? Because he needs to eat more in, in the daytime because he's been waking up too many times at night. I know I told you guys that I had like walked him back from three night wakings to one. Well, we've regressed to two night wakings. <laughs> this is not three. Um, but I'm, I'm not sure what the difference was necessarily. But I finally did do the math and he is under eating during the day. And it's not clear to me exactly like how to remedy that since he is pretty adamant about not eating more than four ounces at a time. Part of it too is like, it's out of my hands a little bit with daycare. You know, when, they, when he's at daycare, they try to give him all the milk that I send, but you know, there's sometimes he comes home with a whole extra bottle. So, um, you know, and I get it cause like it's a very distracting environment for babies. And when they're super distracted, it's hard to get them to eat anything. So anyway, we were coming up with some options, my husband and I, um, to help him consume more during the daytime hours. Um, he, he still will need a bottle overnight, but um, the goal is to like just have that one night waking instead of multiple night wakings. So we are, we're, we're on it. If you guys have suggestions, please let me know in the comments. Um, Okay, so now because of the nature of this week, I am going to pull out stickers because I want to put stickers here to mark down the things that I mentioned. There is this day off sticker. Let's just see real quick. There's break time. So I feel like there's probably a holiday sticker. And then there's these some of these functional ones I might end up incorporating. We've got summer break, winter break, fall break, more coffee. <laughs> SA do, no class, no class, I guess could kind of fit in there, but it doesn't really apply to me. Online class. Look at this old timey computer. That's so cute. Um, cause I'm looking at the student book right now. So that's part of what's happening. Test, let's see, exam, quiz, exams, midterm, study, brainstorm to do. I should have looked at this before I started my video, but I did not have time. Okay, so it's looking like here we have spring breaks and midterms, due dates, and so on, no class, blah, blah, blah. Okay. 
and some more functional stickers. So we've got the day off here. Let me just double check in here if there's anything that we might use. Keep it up. Day off. No school, assembly, field trip meeting, spring break, summer break. Summer break, winter break, spring break. Exams, reminders, priorities, meetings, no school, no school. Oh, they have a little department meeting one. They need to have a little sheet of department meetings. <laughs> in order to accommodate those of us who have those things. First day of school, picture day, fall break day. They have these cute little day off. These are super cute. I might actually come back to this page. Then we have meetings. And then those are cute. And then we have midterm, quarter two, quarter one, and so on and so forth. Early release days, due dates, winter break, book fair, holiday. Here we go. Holiday stickers. I think that's going to be the winner. Picture day, day off. There's other day off ones here, but I think the holiday. Meeting, 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 urgent reminder. No school. To do field trip grading graduation conferences that's kind of nice to oh another department meeting sticker okay okay let's do the holiday that's what we'll do for now I know that was a long walk for a short drink of water <laughs> okay holiday all right, so that's that. And then I have my daughter's surgery. So I might go, don't worry y'all, it is outpatient. It should be fine. It just is her first ever surgery. So it does make this mama a little bit nervous. But um, I am confident that the surgeons will do a good job and everything will be okay. It'll just be kind of like a challenging day for all of us. My husband is taking work off though, so I have him in my corner, for which I am very thankful. Okay, and then I was just trying to mark, yeah, her surgery. I'm just gonna go ahead and pop it just in, the, I think this is the general time window that she will be doing the surgery. So um, I'm going to put this little globe here. So that is that. Let me go pop this in here. I'll add the time once I have it. Interestingly, you guys might find this interesting, those of you with children. Um, when I asked about what was included in the clear liquids diet um, that she can have up to a certain point before her surgery, they said that breast milk counted as a clear liquid. So I was like, huh, okay. But regular milk didn't. So there you go. <laughs> if you're ever wondering, that is that is a thing. Um, so 1230, we have our an all-team meeting. And I could either use some of these. Actually, they, there are little meeting stickers in here. Twelve thirty. I wish these were slightly skinnier, but they're kind of cute though, right? So this would be 12.30 p.m. Oh, I see. This is for like, maybe you put it somewhere else because you put the date here. And the topic is our goals meeting. And this is 9-4-24. Um, 
And then I also have a meeting with Ariel right afterward. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it here. That's not pretty, but it is what it is. Okay, so there's that meeting. And then I can't keep anything in my head, y'all. That's why I have a paper planner. Nothing on Thursday. And then I have my um, mentoring meeting on Friday. And I think I'm going to use a cuter sticker for that. I'm either going to use this little exclamation meeting sticker or there's these ones. I need to just take the sticker book apart because there's these ones which are cute. And it'll bring a little like blue over into the situation. Plus this one has a little pink, so I think this one's a good one. Friday is noon to 1.30. I'm putting a little follow-up task because I for forgot a lot to do this last fall, so... I'm just reminding myself to follow up with that. Okay, and then taking a quick look again. So then our anniversary and then my grandma's birthday and my in-laws party. Um, and I think for their party, what I will use is this little exclamation thingy. So that is this, this time, 3.30. Um, John and I actually did the math to see like how old would we be at our 50th wedding anniversary <laughs> um, I wasn't because we got married you know older than some people do I wasn't sure if we would be very likely alive on our 50th wedding anniversary but we did some quick math and we realized we would only be 80 and 84 so it is very possible, <laughs> knock on wood, that we are alive on our 50th wedding anniversary. We'll just be like quite advanced in years. So um, I'm going to put a little reminder to myself about my grandma's birthday. Oh, I have birthday icons. I'm going to do that. And then for our anniversary, I think I probably have hearts or something. Like I could use an icon. Yeah. Let's take a look. Bring out my, my cons. Okay. So. We've got our little meeting ones. Let's come back and put some of these on here. And then here are my... Here we go. Birthday. So my grandma's birthday. Use my birthday cake. I'm mailing her a card. So I'm going to drop that down real quick. Mail. Grandma's card. <laughs> Just remind myself to do that. Um, so there is this little like party thing for our anniversary. I've got some of these freebie stickers. There's like balloons and a cake. I'm just seeing if I have anything else that could possibly work for. God, these are just work ones. A little heart. Got these little sugar pop fizz hearts. It's like so faint, but um, anniversary. Can't believe it's been ten years. That's crazy. My husband and I were both like, "What?" How? 
it feels like 10 years and also doesn't feel like 10 years. <laughs> oh, you know how it is. You know. If you know, you know. Um, okay, so I'm going to put in some cute, like, cutesy stickers here. Oh, I almost forgot I have my barbecue happening on that day. Um, so I'm going to put this little, like, take note sticker right there. I love this little, like, rainbow crayon thing. Let me see, make sure you can see what I'm doing. Um, this backpack is super cute. I'll put this backpack here and maybe this little eraser next to it. And I like this one, two, three icon thingy. Got calculator, got chalkboard. I like this composition notebook because that is my jam. That's literally my job is to teach students composition. I think that's cute. And the little paper clips. Paper clip, paper clip. Oh, I meant to share with y'all. So, um, I am in my buy nothing group on Facebook and this yesterday someone posted that they had a like planner sticker box box of planner sticker stuff um, that they wanted to get rid of and I chimed in and was like oh I would love this I have a YouTube channel I'm like a major planner and you know um, please consider you know me and um, the woman, you know, responded pretty quickly and she was like, oh, how awesome. I love to plan too. I just can't use all this stuff. Um, you, it's yours. And let me know what your YouTube channel is and I'll look you up. And I was like, oh, so if you're watching this, thank you. <laughs> thank you for the, the haul. And also thank you for potentially watching my YouTube channel. I just really appreciate it. Um, so I am going to start putting the week number of the semester in this box because I need to know what week number it is. Um, if you are going to see my back pages video that's coming up this Wednesday, um, you'll see why I need to know the week number. Um, but this week's focus is absolutely my daughter's surgery. I just want to be there for her and hope and, you know, support her through it as best you can for a toddler. Um, and this is the month of September. Yeah. So I'm going to put that there. Oh, right. My barbecue. Thank you for reminding me. You guys were probably reminding me in your, in your minds on the other side of this YouTube video. So I appreciate it. So I'm just looking to see what might be a good... These little um, whiteboard stickers are super cute. I still got those exclamation ones and I have those like notepad style ones too. I'm actually thinking a whiteboard one would be a good idea. I know my colors are all over the place a little bit with this. Oh, here, this little clipboard is perfect. I think in this time range we are doing the barbecue. Barbecue. All right, yes, okay. So that is everything, I think. <laughs> yeah, looking good. All right, let's pop some like things I need to do on here. All right, so I know what I need. I'm not gonna show you my feedback schedule right now because you have to watch the video on that. But I do know what I need to do is I need to schedule announcements. I will need to um, wrap up intro grades, grade um, goals assignment, 
And then um, the other thing that they'll be turning in this week, well, I still won't be able to to look at it till Sunday. So anyway, those are the three main things. And then, oh, the other thing that's happening, and I need to pop this on here to remind myself. I'm going to use one of those exclamation stickers, I think. Yeah. Um, I have exemption exams to score, so I'm going to go ahead and put that here. Um, so I need to do... So there's several steps to this. And then there will be a... This probably will get shifted off to the next week, but I need to write it down so that I don't lo lose track of it. Okay, so that is all happening. Um, and then, so that's teaching related, admin related work. We have our meeting. Um, Oh, how funny. Let me just erase this. Oh, by the way, this is the Passion Planner erasable pen and it is clutch. Like, check it out. I mean, yeah, you can see a little ghosting, but especially if it's something you're going to write on top of, like, it's just wonderful. I love it so much. Um, I'm just writing prep for goals meeting. That's just basically looking at the stuff that our boss sent out ahead of time. And then I think that's everything. Oh, I need to purchase some champagne for my in-laws. Need to mail my grandma's card. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna put anniversary gift for husband. <laughs> Possibly. Sometimes we, we do and sometimes we don't exchange gifts on that anniversary. And there will be grocery order that I need to put in. Okay, then there's films, obviously. Film, the weekly plan with me. And there will definitely be another film. I wanna do the Hall and Gantt chart video. Um, partly because next week is observation week and that is insane for me so the more i can film ahead of time the better okay i think that's good for the things that i know i need to do now looking at my september to do's all right so if you're new passion planner gives you the space for monthly to do's i've already transferred this one about the exams and this is we're working on that um, I could pop that in here. I don't think I'll have time for it, but I'm going to shoot for the stars, as they say. So, um, that might get shifted, but that's okay. I have these trainings. Um, I need to do this travel request. But I do have time. It's just nice to do as much before observations as possible. I may even get to this this week. I just, um, I haven't gotten to it yet. So, so we're going to be doing all of this. Um, okay. So, um, looking at my yeah.
I definitely want to add volunteering back in, but not in this month. This month is a no-go. So instead I'm going to revisit my game changer goal and um, one of the um, self-care things that isn't on there is breast pumping. <laughs> I keep forgetting to do it. Um, and I just want to, I want to make sure that I'm not like, you know, just, I, I want to make sure that I actually put this in my calendar, my digital calendar, especially to block off time so people can't claim it. And then I get all like messed up with my pumping stuff. Um, I'm going to put back on here my foot issues to address those. And... Uh, hobby and workout. Yes. Hobby. Right now, this is read my book that I'm reading. And then um, workout. So for workouts, I want to do some yoga. I want to do yoga. Yes, I think that would be a good way to do that. So I'm actually going to go ahead and pop up here on Wednesday around this time slot. Some yoga. Same thing over here. And also after I drop my daughter off from daycare. Yeah, I think if I do those three days at least, it would be awesome. Okay. Yeah looking good, right? I think it looks pretty good. Considering how haphazardly I planned this week, I think it actually looks kind of cute. Um, so thank you so much for watching this plan with me. Um, sorry it was a little rambly, but you know, I do what I do. So um, I would love to know how is your September shaping up? Please leave a note in the comments. What's one of the things you're looking forward to in the month of September? Also, when you get a chance, check out my next video that's coming up, and that is going to be the back pages video in which I go over how to create a feedback schedule, which could be useful to you if you are a teacher, um, but also I think potentially useful to those of you who have any deliverables that you have that where you, where you assign something and you receive something in turn and when to get it back to those people. I think that it might be useful in a general sense, but definitely for those of you who are teachers. And stay tuned, I've got some more fun stuff coming up for you. Thanks again for watching. I am going to do an unboxing and planner haul of the, of the goodies that I got from my Buy Nothing, and I can't wait to share that with you. So, anyway, take good care. Give this video a thumbs up. I will see you back here soon. Bye.